Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Alright, Orange Ocean 3 is up next, and we're gonna invade a ship. This stage also includes what is probably the hardest switch to obtain, and I'm going to go through all the steps to make it possible on route to 100% completion, which needs this switch. That said, let's go invade a ship. So, first things first, we gotta get on that ship, so we end up starting on the pier. Swallow you, and, uh... Heck, I'll just swallow everything else for good measure. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Regardless of the matter, um, down here is one of these things if needed. I'm just gonna wait for you to get out of the way. And you're not gonna get out of the way, which means I'm gonna have to go this direction, deal with you that way. Alright. So, with that all said, go right in here, head down, and there's bonkers again. Which means we get a hammer power up, which is awesome. Uh, and you made this really easy for me by doing a double, which I can swallow for your hammer, and now we can start moving things ahead. You need this hammer to get to the switch in the first place. Get rid of you, hit this crate. You're able to go outside the ship and go down here inside this little area. And before I hit this little bomb here, I'm gonna break you and grab this thing. Now hit this bomb and the whole thing gets flooded. Now, the bomb you just landed on is actually a hidden opening. Quickly grab the extra life before you lose it. And right there is a blade knight to get rid of. Deal with him. And inside there, you have this little thing. Lose your... Uh-oh. That was a mistake. And go back here and just... I'll try this again. But what you have to do here is, that laser ball, you have to grab his power. So you gotta react quickly. And there we go. I have the opportunity with the laser. Go back in the porthole. And now we can go over to this side. Inside here is the cannon room. Get rid of you, and position yourself right here, jump and shoot the laser. And then get on the cannon, and finally we get our hands on what is probably the hardest switch of the game. Getting ourselves the crane. Alright, finally got through that train crash, and now here we are with a laser and all sorts of stuff. I get to shoot things and stuff, just... Oh, crap, I lost my power. No, I didn't. Now I did, and now I have it back. But anyway, we still get the chance to run around the ship a little bit, just kind of look at a couple things. Um, right in here is this dude, and there's an actually an extra life over there, which... Go in that porthole, and that's pretty much how you do it. top of that, is there anything? Okay, this, this door is actually the way back, which is not necessary. So we've covered this area, whoa. And, uh, I'm just trying to not hurt myself here. Inside here, oh, I've already been through that area pretty much. So, I think everything is in the clear. Yeah, because there's nothing under the ship or anything. So blow up this Garpy. Go up. And there's a door inside the sail for some reason. But uh, I guess you just end up back here, which is probably cool anyway. Go through this. I'll just shoot these blocks in the process. And I've reached 800,000 points. Not much farther to go before I hit that 1 million mark. Which I probably will before uh, this is all said and done. Certainly doing my best to get to it, though. <laughs> anyway, we'll climb up here, and finally there's a warp star. Take the warp star, and we finally escape the ship. Sailing all the way away to this island in the ocean. Walk away here, go through all this. Dodge all the Scarfies, because the Scarfies are freaking annoying as can be. And there is the gate out. And with that, we are done with Orange Ocean Stage 3. 
without a doubt, the longest stage to cover, and also the hardest, uh, hidden switch. All of that's done. About time, yeesh. But anyway, uh, first things first, go to the crane. And, uh, we'll just do some stuff here. I mean, I'm not really gonna be doing a full heck of a lot here. I'm just gonna, like, pick up this and, uh, grab two po Derp! Derpity! Derp, derp, de derp. That did not work at all. Okay, fine. I'll just take one one up, because, I mean, I don't care. I'm only doing this just to restore my health anyway, since that's what the mini games do. At least I get, like, one life, and that's about it. I mean... Whatever. And that's now gone. Good. On top of that, I think there's a thing... Yeah, there's an arena. Did I go through the museum at one point? Oh yeah, I did. That was the wheel. But there is an arena up here that I also need to deal with. So let's take care of that, which is this guy. This is the last arena of the game, by the way. So, deal with him, and it's done. Oh, shit. And there we go. Got him. And, uh, that's the last arena fight I have to do. So, I've successfully covered everything, even though the arena is repeatable. And there's Orange Ocean 4, which pretty much covers the island we just landed in. Let's go ahead and, uh, slowly make our way up. And, uh, just get things dealt with. I mean, there's probably a bit to explore here as well. Just blow you up and run through this whole area, which... If I remember right, there's actually two different directions you can go. And there's one right here, which has, well, this thing that can blow. Open the door, and we got this place. Actually, now that I think about it... Oh, I forced myself. I actually think they all converge in the same area, so... It doesn't really matter. Slide down here to break this. Swallow you. Blow that up to drop a one-up. Swallow all this. Get down. Oh, crap. I need the hammer power to even get down there. If I remember right, it actually goes to the 1-up section, so it's not the biggest of concern. There's a thing if you need it, but you gotta navigate that crap storm. Oh yeah, it's the three extra lives. So if you have the hammer power up, you can get three extra lives. Not that it matters to me, because I can't. I'm at 40 lives, who cares? And I've only lost one the whole entire recorded Let's Play. So, I don't really care. Likewise, there's another one of these things. Just slide down and blow it up. Now we end up in the water here, which the best thing to do is simply just, uh... Crap. I'll just grab you, keep climbing, and there's an extra life that we can take. Now we can just drop, and that's pretty much it. So I guess we'll just slowly swim our way around. Dodge that thing quickly. And, uh, there goes. There we go. Okay, crap. Ah, talk about god awful running. Now, anyway, right here is another hidden area. Likewise, a hidden switch. That gets us the egg catcher. So that one's out of the picture. Just two more to go for Orange Ocean. And, uh, definitely a lot easier than the third one, don't you think? <laughs> that one's just convoluted as can be. I'll take that and the sword, because why not? It's been a while since I had one. Oh, damn it! Crusher. Crusher. Crash. Blow this up. Oh, that's actually not what I want to do. Get up! Get up! Get out of here. And with that, we can, uh... We can escape. We can escape this whole area. Takes 
care of that. Go through the store. Oh, I gotta fly up now. Okay. So, this is where we fly up. Just dodge all the, uh, the nuts. This is not... Okay. Good lord. Alright, just get rid of all the nuts, because they are just going to explode in your face. I'm gonna take my time, because I'm at one point of health, and one point of health sucks. Yo, get the freaking thing, thank you. And with that, grab it, and that is Orange Ocean 4. And there we go. So, we're pushing 11 minutes, primarily because uh, Orange Ocean 3 took a while. I'm just going to climb up and do the Egg Catcher game. This way I can restore my health, and we'll do Orange Ocean 5 next episode. So, uh... Derp. <laughs> I don't give a shit at this point. So... Derp. <laughs> Anyway, head over here to ice for whatever reason, and we will get started on Orange Ocean 5 next episode. So with that all said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.